Welcome to part 28 and in this video we will ascend Death Mountain and investigate why there is now a ring of fire circling the mountain and um, will the Gorons be okay? I, serious, I seriously doubt it because um, I, I mean Ganondorf's treachery will extend far and wide and that ring of fire definitely has something to do with Ganondorf monkeying around Death Mountain. So, yeah, we gotta make sure the Gorons are okay. And, um, if I hadn't said this before, I am saying this now. The reason the Kakariko Village is uh, pretty much uh, miscolored right here, it's because of the ring of fire that is circling Death Mountain at the moment. Now, spoilers, once we clear the dungeon in Death Mountain, we will be we will see the restoration of death mountain back to its normal um, cloud circling form and the color in kakariko village will be restored to normal now before i proceed onward to the death mountain trail i'm going to be getting some supplies first and now that i have now that i have four empty bottles to uh, fill um I'm going to start filling them. Well, technically I'm going to fill only three at this time. I'm going to be saving the fourth for uh, later on. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get one fairy. And I'm going to get um, a couple potions. Now, I am not, repeat, not going to get a red or green potion. And because, um, well, frankly, there is a potion you can get that will allow you to restore both health and magic at the same time and um, I I'd start buying that kind of potion because well I mean it'll be beneficial later on I still cannot get over the fact that um, even though the bottles on the item menu look um, good like the graphics for the bottles look um, bizarrely odd. I mean, look, I mean, it looks like this blue distorted bottle thing. Hmm. But then, of course, we're, we are dealing with the limitations of the Nintendo 64 graphics. Alright, now to uh, get these uh, blue potions, as they are called, we have to go to the old Hags potion shop. You know, the one where we had to go to to get the uh, odd mushroom, to get the odd potion. Now, because the, po the regular potion shop is closed, what we have to do is um, hook shot to uh, this blue roof right here. And this building is where the potion hag is located. Now, of course, the hook shot does have some leeway as to how far you can shoot. That red dot is pretty much a reference point, but the hook shot can really go a little bit further than that, so I just thought you should know. Anyway, here's the potion shop. And we're going to buy the ultimate potion, the blue potion, and it costs us 100 rupees each. So, um, cherish it, cherish it, folks. Cherish these blue potions. So, yeah. Anyway, after the blue, after we get a couple of blue potions, we are done with this uh, area for now. Mm. Now, of course, with the regular potion shop closed, like the regular shop, we will have to get out by uh, climbing this ladder here and going around the windmill and dropping down. And I would like to also point out that, remember that dancing couple from uh, Hyrule Castle Town? There they are. They are still dancing in private behind the windmill. I guess they want some uh, peace time and something. Alright. Now that I have what I've got, 
now that I have gotten all the items I need, um, it's time to ascend Death Mountain once again. And hopefully the Gorons will be safe. Again, I doubt it. Ganondorf will pretty much make them suffer. And, uh, yeah. Alright, Death Mountain Trail. The Tektites are still around, and they are as annoying as ever. Now, some noticeable differences. One, there are now boulders along the pathway. And another difference is there are big boulders rolling down the mountain, and you gotta be careful to dodge those. I mean, if you get hit by the boulders, you will only take a quarter damage, and um, so they're not that dangerous. Anyway, I am making a detour to Dodongo's Cavern because there is still one Gold Skull Tola left to collect. And the only way to collect it is as Adult Link. So, once again, I'm casting Faor's Wind so that once I get the Gold Skull Tola, I can get back here and leave quickly. And the Gold Skull Tola is actually um, close. Uh, like uh, relatively close so yeah and as you can see here Dodongo's cavern is pretty much uh, exactly the same as we left it um, I guess the Gorons didn't did not pretty much left my uh, renovations when I uh, took care of when I t uh, took care of their um, Dodongo problem as a kid so yeah Anyway, go down the first corridor. Be careful. There are still baby Dodongos that will pop up. Kill them and um, be careful. These guys will explode. Alright. Once we kill the baby Dodongos, um, we have to get to a certain point in this area where Navi will fly up and turn green. And, um, that, of course, is a spot where Pierre will appear once we play the Scarecrow song. And, uh, make sure we, um, get within range because even though we play the Scarecrow song, um, here, Pierre did not show up. So, yeah, you gotta get a little bit closer. And as you can hear, there is the Gold Skull Toll Up. We just need to get up there and take care of it. And there he is. So once again, hook shot up to this uh, ledge. Kill the Gold Skull Toll Up. And we are going to use the warp to uh, get out of here. Because, yeah. Now I find it fascinating that... Um, this is the only one of the child dungeons Adult Link can enter, uh, and um, because um, as he saw, um, the Deku Tree can no longer be accessible, and um, as we will find out when we go to Zora's Fountain, more Jabu Jabu will be gone. Alright, now we're done with this uh, area, we can now continue, we will now continue to ascend um, Death Mountain, and in fact, if we take this magic bean right here, jump off right here, and we will get a heart piece. And with that, we've completed another heart container, which means we will now have 12 full hearts. Now, I'm going to wait until the magic bean returns, because we can use it to actually reach the Goron Village entrance in a uh, quick manner. Now, um, what I do here is, um, I'd wait until it becomes nighttime again for, um, before entering, uh, Goron City, because even though it is inside a cave, um, the, there will be a gold skull tunnel that will appear, and it must be nighttime, because, again, these guys are nocturnal. I mean...
I mean, the thing I don't get about it is, um, even though these things are nocturnal, uh, this one we found underground, and, um, well, uh, yeah. And when we enter Goron City, the place is deserted, except for one Goron, one mini Goron. Who is rolling around just like that big Goron did in um, back in the past? All right, there's the gold skull Tola I was talking about earlier, and again, it must be nighttime before you attempt to kill it. Now you want to be careful. Um, well, you must uh, be careful to uh, make sure you stay on this rope because you can fall off and. While I, and while I did not fall off this rope, um, I did something that accidentally, which, um, well, um, you'll see. And yes, Navi, I know, I'm here now, shut up. Thank you. Anyway, of course, the tricky thing about this, uh, Gold Skull Tola is you gotta keep going forward enough until you get within range and before you can stab it. And careful. And here's where I've done something stupid. I've accidentally latched onto the wood of the um, Goron Ruby pedestal. Pull me forward and bam I got Injured to the by the gold skull toll him so uh, so Ow Yeah, thank God there was a heart in one of those pots And we are pretty much going to be uh, doing that again And pretty much so the thing is though what happened to all the Gorons because um, like most of them have been captured by Ganondorf and um, as we will find out later on they are going to become someone's meal and uh, we cannot let that happen all right let's see if we can and finally, we've killed the go gold skull Tola, and we will nab said token. All right, now that that's taken care of, care of, let's see if we can uh, stop this Goron from um, rolling. Now we can do the same. We're going to do the same routine like uh, we stopped that big Goron, but the difference between him and um, the other big Goron is that. If if the little Goron sees Link, he will make a, he will immediately turn around and go the other way. Now we can use that to uh, our advantage because in order to stop him, we can toss a bomb like a little ways behind him, have him turn around, and as he turns around the other way, hopefully at the right moment, the explosion will cause him to stop, and then we will be able to talk to him. Now I tried using bomb flowers to because I do not want to waste my own, but I believe I eventually stop and use and I start using my own uh, set. I mean, this could be quite annoying, but again, this this guy here pretty much um has all the answers I need to pretty much all the answers as to what happened to the Gorons in this place. There we go. What? Link? Hero of the Gorons? What? But I'm Link. I'm the hero of the Gorons. Yep. Yeah. Well, apparently, um, Darunia named uh, his son. Uh, 
after you. And um, here's a little fun fact. If you name the link um, Bob or George, the Goron right here will be also known as Bob and George. And, and you get the idea. So, yeah. And pretty much... Um, this little guy here is um, explained that Darunia has uh, gone to the Fire Temple because Ganondorf will has pretty much kidnapped all the Gorons and placed them in the Fire Temple because, um, well, they they're being defiant and stuff, and uh, they're going to be eaten by a dragon. The said dragon's name is Volvagia, and. Um, He's pretty much telling you that a long time ago, Volvagia had terrorized this land and um, pretty much ate Gorons. And um, there was this hero that uh, pretty much killed Volvagia. And Darunia is the descendant of that um, hero. So, yeah. So, basically, in order to cheer up, we need to talk to him about uh, what happened to the Gorons. And. Um, I mean, pretty much, uh, Ganondorf's forces pretty much took him away. Now, the reason the Gorons did not fight back is because, even though they're big and strong, they're, they're like, they're not warlike. They are more of a peaceful thing, so yeah. So, we pretty much get the gist of the story. Um, Volvagia has been revived by Ganondorf, and, uh, the Gorons are going to become its meal. So, yeah. And in order for us to go follow him, uh, Link the Goron will give Link the red tunic, which is uh, heat resistant. And the doors will open up in um, both the shop and Darunia's room. Now, most of the Gorons have been taken. The only ones that remain are Link the Goron here, the, ba the um, shop owner, and uh, one more Goron. And in fact, this one more Goron will be... Is actually hidden behind these uh, bombable walls. So... Yeah. Now... Again, the amount of walls that need to be blow up... That need to be blown up... I mean, look how much ridiculous I have to do this. And as you continue to go down this tunnel, um, you have to... Pretty much keep bombing walls, but thankfully I have my own set of bombs, so I can get closer and closer and closer. And yeah, we're here. Now see this big Goron here, folks? This is not Biggeron. This is not Biggeron. Instead, this is Medigoron. Medigoron makes these swords called the giant knives and um, they're pretty much big swords that we can carry with two hands and they can do double the damage of the master sword now here's my advice don't buy them do not buy any of many Goron swords because once you um, equip it and and like use it on something it will break and um, yeah, it's pretty much a ripoff. However, there is a similar sword, bigger on sword, that we can get for ap for free after we complete the training quest. It is the much superior sword, and it will never break. So yeah. So go ahead and equip the uh, Goron tunic so that we can get into a Death Mountain crater and. Um, actually um, not uh, die due to extreme heat so yeah now in Darunia's room see the statue pull it out to reveal the entrance to Death Mountain Crater and we can go and follow yeah Death Mountain Crater we've been here before as a kid and because of the extreme heat we could not stay there was a time limit and such so, but now with the Goron Tunic, we can stay in here as long as we want. Alright, and, um, this pathway will eventually lead back up to that, uh, summit area near the top. So, um, 
But unfortunately, we lack the necessary item to ascend at this time. Instead, go this way here, and uh, even though the bridge is broken, use the hook shot on that uh, beam right there to get onto the bridge. And it is there we will encounter Sheik again, and he will teach us our next warp song. The Bellario of Fire! And if you go back to the quest status subscreen, um, you know where the music notes are, it will be um, a red musical note. And notice how that fire suddenly appears between Link and Sheik, giving Sheik a chance to do his uh, vanishing ninja act, and uh, yeah, how convenient. And notice it does not burn the bridge. Yeah, anyway, there's the warp platform to come here once we play the Bolario of Fire, so yeah, and that's the one and that's the way into the um, fire temple entrance, so um Yeah, we're not gonna go into the fire temple yet because I wanna get some things before I go down. Namely some heart pieces. And to do that, I am actually um going to go restore my uh, childhood. Yeah, it's time for me to go back in time and reclaim my lost youth. And like uh, Sheik said, just insert Master Sword into the pedestal and we will go back in time. Alright, I'm a kid again. Woo! Alright, folks. Um, I will be getting some heart pieces and other things in the, my next video. And um, we'll also um, play some more songs. So, see you then.